Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. I think I'm gonna opt to just call this game Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga for the time going forward. But, let us start up a new game. You might notice that there are no save files here. That is because this is a new cartridge. My old cartridge got lost somewhere, so I had to get a new one. And I figured, even though Alpha Dream is no longer with us, may that developer studio rest in peace, we will continue with a new cartridge, even though they don't get the money. So, let's start. Where is the Mario Bros? Aw, oh, they have little beds coordinated for each other. Little plumbing business. Make some tea. But the Mario be in here. And right away, we're put into battle. And an entry was added to the battle guide. The battle guide is a new feature added in for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga DX. Maybe I'll start referring to it as that. Check it out whenever you want to select guide by hitting the bottom screen. So. I don't really think I need to jump up on anything besides jumping. So, you press A with Mario to jump. Press A after you land and timing just right and you score an extra attack. Time for timed hits. This is why I love the Mario and Luigi combat, because it basically boils down to perfect timing. Also, I should mention, Bowser in the Mario and Luigi series is probably the best written Bowser we've ever gotten. Goodwill! 
Even when I leave that company, it comes back to haunt me. Walk around here and you will be able to get some new items, talk to people, all this great stuff. Now, one thing already that I do agree with when it comes to a lot of the complaints for this game. A lot of the unique toads have been taken out as well as the unique characters in general just for generic Koopas and toads. And that's rather sad. But... I mean, you'll find out why in a bit. Of course. We got a super mushroom. Thank you, Toad. So, to minimize having to make whole new models because they'd have to make whole new 3D models for this. Uh, they decided to opt for the generic toad sort of thing, just different colors, which in the sprites, it was a lot more unique. And that's what I like a lot more. I like the uniqueness of toads that the Mario and Luigi RPG games generally do, but eh, I can understand given now that Alpha Dream is defunct because sales were not that good uh i can see why they tried to cut some corners Fountain, that's you. No, it's blue tub. Sure. speech bombs. The villain who stole the lovely voice of princess has fled to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Mario has reportedly been tapped for rescue mission. As per usual, Luigi will stay home and guard the home front? They do Luigi dirty in these games, but it's absolutely hilarious at the same time. I found something precious. And you got a one-up mushroom. This 
revives you in battle. It's basically a phoenix down. The mushrooms will restore your health. The um, the one-up mushrooms will obviously restore your life. But hey, so let's talk to Luigi. Mario. You could actually tell him to go to the wrong area and I think you get a different item. But I don't want to be mean to the Koopas. Hmm. Save album, eh? And these are your save points. No, I don't. I want to do this. Save album where you can save your game. But, no, no. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that yet. I'll bye get into that in a second. Okay, bye, Luigi. Ah, Toadsworth. I remember you. It's a shame you've been, like, written out of the series entirely now. Oh, yeah. And we got a suitcase. how expressive they are. So, why don't we get the heck out of here? And if we do hit start, we bring up the different items we have. So we have items, gear, status, options, and guide. So first up, items. We got the mushrooms, which recover 30 HP. Super Mushroom, which recovers 50. Syrups, which recovers 15 Bro Points. Bro Points are used for special moves in this game. And 1-Up Mushrooms, revive with half health. We also have coffee, beans, and key items. Our gear. We have Work Pants, Empty and Empty. These are shoes, these are gloves, these are your status effects. So, light, comfy, and easy to walk in. There are three types of gear. The kind that only Mario can wear, the stuff that's just for Luigi, and goods that can either can wear. Kind of implying the fact that, you know, Luigi's gonna be coming on this trip, but then again, this game is called Mario and Luigi. So it'd be kind of weird if he wasn't. So, here we have remove equipped items. So there we go. Oh wait, no, these are badges. Could've sworn that there were shoes. Maybe that's a later one that I'm... Maybe I'm thinking of Bowser's Inside Story. Status. Light, comfy, easy to walk in. That just tells you what you're currently wearing. Guide. Field basics, battle basics, field actions, battle actions. We'll get more into those tutorials later. And options. Easy mode. What is easy mode? As you know, there are timed hits inside of this game. Otherwise known as action commands. Easy mode makes these a lot easier to perform and can get you through the game a little bit easier. I don't think it's necessary, but if you so want to turn it on, you can turn it on and off at any time. Obviously, I'm not going to be using it because time hits, so. No idea. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 
She looks so depressed. <laughs> Now we control Mario and Luigi. Mario is controlled with the A button, Luigi with the B button. Added into this game is the ability to jump at the same time since there are more buttons than the Game Boy Advance. X button, you will both jump at the same time. Very handy. But anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and welcome to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga DX. See you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more content with Mario, check out the top link for a playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy. And if you want to see Luigi starring in his own adventures, check the bottom link for Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.